Hey guys, this is Rick with Deep Timber Outdoors coming at you finally with another review. Um, been a couple months since my last one when I did the Bear 2 portable solar charger. Um, today I'm going to get into a couple of different um, items that I put in my pack for my backcountry hunt. Um, I've got a sleeping pad, um, the backpack itself, and the, the lightweight um, backpack sleeping bag or sleeping bag that I use. Um, and those will be broken down into their own separate videos. Um, I won't do one long, you know, 30 minute video here for you. This will just be a, a one at a time deal. But before I get into that, I wanted to talk about um, the flag here behind me. Um, the reason it's hanging up and the other flag that I usually use isn't hanging up. Um, this flag was part of what um, they have in Salt Lake. It's called the Healing Fields in Sandy, Utah. And on 9-11 every year, they do um, a flag in this big field for every single person who lost their life on 9-11. And this flag, the reason this flag is significant is because this flag is a representation flag for um, my father-in-law's best friend who was killed at the Pentagon on 9-11. And um, we, try to, we try to scoop in and, and um, get his flag every year if we can. Um, this was the first year that we've been back here for um, September 11th, so um, when we were living in North Carolina before, it was kind of hard to get out here to uh, get it. But, we're super happy, super proud to be able to um, have this flag and and um, and all of the all the things that it represents. Um, not not just for for my father-in-law's friend who's killed the Pentagon, but um, you know for what what the colors represent, what what the flag represents for this country, um, because really it represents everything that that I stand for and. Um, and it, it also is, you know, this country, how it was founded. Uh, it's the reason I'm able to do these things. It's the reason I'm able to purchase the gear that I want to purchase. Um, and, and then share with you the reviews that I want to do um, on that gear. So uh, I'm pretty excited about it. We're gonna, we're gonna make a big pallet frame for it and hang it up in our house. And, and uh, just, you know, we, we really love America in this house and you'll be hard pressed to find a spot in this house that doesn't have something patriotic in it so uh, anyway so with that being said we'll jump into this review um, uh, today I'm going to talk with you about this um, sleeping pad um, inflatable sleeping pad you know that goes in my little two-man um, tent and uh, I, you know, I looked all over the web, and you know, Climate is a great brand. They, you know, they're out of Utah. Um, they have some really great products. Um, that every time I go to Costco, it seems like they have a booth set up at Costco, and I sit on one of their pads, and you know, they put a bundle of keys underneath it or something, you know, and it just feels great. You know, you love it. But the price point's a little bit high for me, so you know, I opted to go with something on a cheaper end, obviously. And um, uh, and I shouldn't say cheaper; I should just say less expensive because the sleeping pad that I found is a pretty, actually, a, a pretty good one. Um, this one here, this is the Powerlix um, brand sleeping pad, um, and when you get it in the box, it comes just like this, wrapped in its little pouch, um, and. When I first opened the box up, you know, I'm a guy, I don't read instructions, and I was like, oh sweet, it should be pretty easy just to blow up and go, and, and um, I'll show you here. It's got a, um, a little clip on the bag, you know, they pop the clip off, and it keeps, it, uh, keeps that secured, even if, you're, even if you do happen to undo the string, it will keep it secured in there. Um, and so we pull it out of the bag here, and it came with this weird, other weird bag which i thought i was like what in the world is this thing you know what am i supposed to do with this so i get open this up it's got a um a, a stretchy elastic around it so you can keep everything rolled up nice and tight um 
So roll it out here, open her up, and you can see, real quick, you can see on here how it does have these padded sections um, all throughout on here. So you do get um, you do get some addition, some different support when you're on different terrain. Um, and I have, you know, I did, I have taken this out and, and used it on rough surfaces and it does work very well. Um, it does keep you off the ground and it keeps the rocks from stabbing into you and, uh, and different things like that. So anyway, back to this little bag thing. I wasn't sure I started, um, let me find this, uh, port here. So you got this port here and, uh, you know, my, just me being me, I'm like, I'll just blow it up. I start blowing into it and I'm like 14 breaths into it. I don't even have a quarter of it blowing up. I'm like, holy crap, I'm gonna die before I get this thing But I'm looking at this pouch thing and it's got a, it's got a, a, a little uh, port on it here. And if you take this port and you match it up, so it's got this, a bigger opening here you unplug when you um, when you're when you're draining the air out of it and then it's got a smaller port there with this cover so a smaller port here and um, this port here matches up and slides in real nice and tight and you just good steady hold on it and then you take this bag and you open her up like this Okay, see, it's just a bag, empty bag, nothing in here, no tricks or surprises. And then you open it, close it tight like this, and then you start rolling the top down, and it catches all the air in the bag, and blows it up for you. And then you're not killing yourself. You can hear it filling. And then you're not trying to kill yourself blowing up the air mattress because you don't have, you know, a portable, um, portable device to blow it up. And then it does inside, show you this real quick, inside the, there's a baffle inside, kind of like a check valve that will keep the air from blowing out of this port when you, as you fill it. So you don't have to worry about trying to close the cap too fast or, or super fast to keep it from, uh, losing all the air on you so it does take a few minutes to get it with this bag but it is i mean you're not like it's not a struggle you know you're not especially if you're up on the mountain you just hiked in five miles or something like that and you're like already tired and then you're trying to just exhaust yourself trying to fill the bag up um get it blown up here real quick all right so here it is all blown up. You can see it's got different, these padded, you know, it's all kind of an individual cell that it fills up and they're just connected here um, through the through the brakes and the pads. Um, but it is, it is very, very comfortable. I promise you that. It's not a bad, you know, a bad little unit for 40 bucks is all I spent on. Um, and this is the long one. It's like the, the tall, um, the tall version. Um, I'll have to double check what the um, what it what it says as far as the length on it. Um, but inside this package here, inside your little pouch that it comes all rolled in, it's got the brand name on it. Um, it does have a repair kit, so it does. You do have you know a couple patch kits. <clears throat> and on tells you the, has the instructions on how to do the patch right on the inside there it's pretty easy you just cut you know a little a little section off how however big you need um, and it does have it looks like I don't know if you can see that on there but there's a it's like an adhesive um, you know you peel it back see so peel that back and um, and then it's adhesive on the other side so um, pretty simple, pretty easy to use. You don't need a, you don't need any tools or anything really. You could use a knife if you're up, you know, if you're up on the mountain hunting or whatever, and and you have uh, um, 
and you have a couple of different breaks, you know, a couple of different, you, you poke it through something on your tin or whatever and it happens to get a little hole in there, you know, you do have that option. And it, it does come, it's got two, that's what that was, it's two patch kits on here, um, which is really nice. Um, you don't ever have to, you really shouldn't have to worry if you're going on like a five day pack hunt like I was doing, um, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to worry too much about needing a, a repair kit. But one thing obviously I always recommend when you're um, up, on, up on the mountain and you're hunting or doing whatever you're doing on the mountain um, is to have a ground cloth, some type of ground tarp to go underneath your tent, help kind of separate those objects from the bottom of your tent and then going through your tent to the bottom of your sleeping pad or to your, your bag, your sleeping bag. So. Um, that's really all I got for you on that, the, um, on the sleeping pad, you know, I'm not going to dive into getting it deflated because that's pretty self-explanatory and it's really easy. So, um, you know, you just open the valve, um, open that bigger port and then, and then just roll it up and it'll, it'll push all that air out and then fold it back up into thirds. So it'll fit nicely into your, uh, back into your pouch, um, and then, and then throw it in your bag. So. Um, hopefully you guys uh, got something out of that, enjoyed it. Um, I will post a link to the Amazon page in the description. Um, and as always, if you guys like what I'm doing, if you guys appreciate um, the work that I'm doing here with my YouTube videos, give me a like, subscribe, um, share with your friends if they're interested in any backcountry gear and they need to do it on a budget like me. Um, again, appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.